And now for another look at our weather. Derek says it's going to be nice and sunny mm -hmm. today, right? That's right. And very warm today, too. But Good we have tonight. to get through this bit of a chilly start that we're working with right now. Okay. Especially on the North Shore, where we're currently waking up to temperature readings into the 40s. The rest of us are mainly into the 50s, but you can see a live look outside here in New Orleans showing us that skies are looking nice and clear. But again, might need a light jacket out there. Let's take a look at those temperatures in it here on your screen. And you can see the North Shore much colder than the rest of us, uh, mainly into those low 40s. Your high temperatures this afternoon rising into the low to mid 70s. So pretty mild day to say the least across much of southeastern Louisiana. We got clear skies right now on the satellite and radar showing everything looking pretty quiet. All thanks to this area of high pressure that's building in from the west yet again. And you can see it here moving over Texas. That system is expected to move into our general direction. And that's going to help give us lots of clear skies and uh, very warm temperatures to work with as well. Now we will be watching the wind gusts closely because as we head into uh, tomorrow, they're going to start to pick up here a little bit out of the south at around uh, 15 to 20 mile per hour wind gusts are certainly possible, but I think the wind gusts get stronger though. As we head into next week, you can see a set out of the south here between 20 to 25 miles an hour gust up to nearly 30 miles an hour, certainly possible by Thursday, and that's from the backside of a cold front that's going to move in to help give us some cooler temperatures as well as pick up those wind speeds there as you just saw. So that high pressure over Texas is going to move its way towards the east. That is going to be responsible for producing lots of clear skies, plenty of sunshine today. Clear skies as we head into tonight as well from that system. And as that high moves away towards the east, there you can see it right there. We're going to be on the western periphery of it. So that's going to give us a south wind to work with starting tomorrow and then continue as we head into next week with that southerly wind breeze underneath mainly crystal clear skies for the most part. And uh, pretty warm air will continue to move in from the south as we uh, we'll feel that here from the Gulf of Mexico as we'll be on the western periphery still of that uh, high pressure system, even as we head into Monday as well. That could help increase the moisture a little bit, leading to some cloud development here too. Maybe a slight chance of a shower can't be completely ruled out, but this very warm moist air mass will continue as we head into Wednesday here as well. Now we're going to be watching this next system. Here's that cold front that I talked about. It's going to start to move in. That could give us a chance of showers to work with as that front uh, nears the area. It should pass through though as we head into early Thursday morning on the back side, we got some cooler air moving in with a light uh, with a northerly wind here picking up here as well. And you'll see that here on the WDSU first warning seven day forecast. Our high temperatures remain to the 70s here for a little while. And then behind that cold front, it's going to get a little cooler and uh, windier here too. As I mentioned as well, high temperatures go from the mid to upper 70s down to the 60s by Thursday. That continues into Friday on our mostly cloudier skies as well with that wind and breezy condition there. Low temperatures in the uh, 40s and 50s once again for tomorrow, 50s and 60s for Monday and Tuesday, and then it looks like 60s for both the North and South Shore Wednesday. And then you can see the low temperatures also responding to that cold front as we head into Thursday and Friday, lowering there a little bit.